March 11th, 2023. You guessed it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I'm sure by now we've all heard about the bank collapse that's happened to SBB Bank. And it's a pretty major collapse. It's like the second largest bank collapse in years. I think the other bank happened in 2008. It had like 300 billion it lost. People that bank with that banker, they're in all kind of problems right now. But should you be concerned about it? Is every bank going to start failing? You know, I can't say yes or no, but when should you start paying a lot more attention to it? Is if more banks start failing rapidly, right? Like if next week another one fails and then it just starts snowballing, then you should really start panicking. And not panicking, but you should start worrying about, you know, what's going on here. You know, I saw somebody comment on, on a video the other day that said, well, what if I took a loan out of them and the bank collapsed? I had to pay my loan. Well, what happens in that situation, to the best of my knowledge, is another banking company comes in, buys up the debt, loans that that bank had, and you make your payments somewhere else. But you also got to understand the people that bank with this bank that collapsed Friday, you know, they're kind of in a, a boat right now in a, in a pickle because, you know, they may be bouncing checks and everything else because they didn't expect the bank to fail, Right. You know, what, what's it mean when you, you got bills due and you can't pay them because your bank's out of business? It takes a while to straighten itself back out. But when should you start paying a lot of attention and worrying about it? For the average person is when more banks start failing. I finally figured out why I don't get a lot of views on here. I don't come on here and start screaming, the, the sky's falling, the sky's falling, you know, all the banks in the world's going to collapse. A lot of videos on here have got a lot of views in the past day, day and a half by doing that. You know, when, when you should worry about it is when you start seeing multiple big banks fail. You know, you well, Wells Fargo's, Bank of America's, those type of banks. If you start seeing them, you know, fail, then you need to start thinking very seriously. Am I prepared for this? Am I ready for this? Do I have cash on hand? Do I have, you know, stuff that I can use around here to barter with? Things like that. I've always told you, you know, keep enough money in the bank to pay your bills. Keep the rest out of the bank. But what happens if that bank fails, right, and, you, and that you've got your money in and you still, you've got to pay your bills? Well, hopefully you got enough cash on hand to pay your bills or you're smart, you know, you, you have your money in several different banks to pay different bills with. I know a lot of people are like, man, I don't want to deal with four or five banks, right? I don't deal with banks at all. I try to keep, you know, just enough in there to pay the bills. That, that's what we do. Just enough to pay the bills. That it doesn't make sense to keep all your money in, in the bank or in one spot, period. Because if something like this happened to your bank a while ago, y'all may remember a video back when some banks were having issues where you couldn't access your accounts due to a computer glitch. Well, that happened to us. It was, you know, over the weekend you couldn't access your, your ATMs or nothing, but luckily we had enough cash on hand to pay what bills were due. But as far as when should you start worrying about this bank collapse, if you bank with that bank that collapsed, yeah, you should be worried about it right now. But if you don't bank with that bank, you bank with a different bank, you need to start watching closely or more banks starting to fail. Once that happens, then you need to realize, hey, I need to get all my money out of the bank, right? I know a lot of places nowadays, it's hard to pay cash. I've told you where I pay my car insurance, it's progressive insurance, but it's through a you know, a company, local company, where I pay my bill. If I pay it online, they don't take American Express. Well, you go down there to pay cash, they charge you a $5 handling fee for that cash, which is ridiculous, right? But then they'll tell you it's because they have to handle it, they have to take it to the bank and all this and that. So, <laughs> some places make it difficult to pay with cash. I know this. I know it from my own personal experience. I'd pay more to pay with cash. Ridiculous, right? They're wanting us to go completely digital, digital dollar, right? We all, which basically that's where the majority of people are now. Whether you want to admit it or not, the majority of the money's digital now. Now you can still go physically get your money and physically have it in your hand, but the majority of the bills and stuff are paid digitally now. I mean, your paycheck it comes in on, on a, in your bank account or on a debit card or something like that. You know, and you just use your debit card everywhere, your bank card or your credit card, whatever you're, you're putting that on, right? So technically we're at the digital dollar now, but you're still able to access physical money. You know, physical money, you can still get it in your hands. 
what will eventually happen is it'll all be digital and something like this happens nobody has money that's what will happen that's where they want us that way you're dependent on them you know you've heard it you'll own nothing and be happy about it but to get back on point with this banking collapse start paying attention to it if you start seeing big banks collapsing pretty quickly here in the future then you if you're, you're not woke up you you will be woke up then if you're watching and paying attention to it but for now keep prepping you know keep enough money in the bank to pay your bills and try to keep the rest out of the bank i mean that's the best advice i can give you i'm not a financial expert or nothing like that but that that's common sense advice right i'm not telling you what to do i'm just telling you options you have in case something like this happens to the bank you bank at you know maybe if i got on here and scream and shout and told you the banks are failing you know get it run 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 i'd get more views but it just don't happen i'm, I'm not doing that you know i took a day to, to act to really look at the situation and see what was going on this happened again like in 2008 or 2009 a major bank collapsed you know like 300 billion dollars they lost and it's just it happens you know everything's making the news now like these train derailments you know every day we're hearing about train derailments they happen every year but more people are paying attention and it's getting covered so we know more about it but this banking stuff keep an eye on other banks see what they're doing see if they start failing and then then you know what's actually going on like hey this is it's crashing right but guys you know for now keep prepping keep a level head keep your eyes and ears open stay safe always keep your head on a swivel be aware of your surroundings at all times protect yourself and your family at all times you're the only one who can do it at that moment stay safe get prepped up and if you're still watching hit that subscribe button